back to another episode of Aussie Bucking. Tyson and I are going for a bit of a drive today. So I went for a motorbike ride the other day and I found a little treasure at the back of a steel shop, a, a, a town close by. Uh, a ni very nice steel shop, but I went to the back of the shop and found a treasure. So we're off to pick it up uh, now and uh, we'll see what we've come up with. So Giuseppe made a comment on the 500i being heavier than Tyson's saw. Tyson, how does it feel? Good. Good? So, how much money is it? 24, 20, 49. 24, 49. 49. 24, 49. That's a lot of money, Tyson. Yeah, too much for you, but it's free to dream. Feel good? Yeah. He wants one real bad. But no money, this young fella. There she is. So we just unloaded the little treasure and Tyson just put some fuel into it, topped him up and just checked the oil. Uh, it's got a new spark plug in it, so the owner, Ken, was quite nice to do that for us. Uh, but Tyson's going to um, do the first start for us and see if it starts. We just got him off the ute. So here we go, hope she goes. No. Choke, Tyson. Think right forward. There you go. What little pearler, Tyson, eh? Very good. Very good. Started fourth pull. Fourth pull, eh? Yeah. It's not running great. I think it's got up shitty fuel in it, for sure. So it'll need a bit of a workout once we get it going properly. Yeah, so we've got our new project. This is the project Tyson and I have got here. But I, I found this after going for a motorbike ride um, and I had to wait for my friends for fuel for an hour. So I got to look at the steel shop and I always go to the back of the, uh, the, their wrecking yard and I found this little treasure. Some people say it's treasure. Most people say it's trash. But to me, it's, it's a little bit of memories from a long time ago. Um, when I was about 10 years old, I used to go and cut grass for the older ladies uh, around town. Um, and Mrs. Skelton, who was to cut for, uh, she had one of these little colts. I started pushing it with a, uh, first of all, with a push mow. It was quite a big yard. And then she had one of these shoved under her house. And she said, Steve, now it's time for you to um, have a go with my ride on. I think you're ready to go. So about 10 years old, she let me cut all her grass in her yard. And I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, it was the first ride on I've ever operated uh, all that time ago. But And I think it was about 1974. So that gives you an idea how old I'm getting and how old this is, because this is about a 1974, 1975 um, colt. It's had a, um, and I used to get $10. I remember that too. I get $10 for mowing her grass. This do Mrs. Lewis also, another one too, but it was uh, all push job, but uh, this is what it was. But this here has had a, uh, a big block put on it. Originally, they had a five horsepower on them, and it must have died over years ago. But, um, and the mechanic or the guy who owned it, Ken, 
um, he put the big block on it. So it's not the right engine for it, but everything else is pretty genuine. And but uh, twice, twice and I just tried to uh, get it, get it. Well, it's going, it's running, as you've seen. But we tried to cut some grass with it, and it broke the uh, it broke the drive belt uh, within a short time. So it's probably all it's all buggered and brittle. So we're going to um, get a new drive belt for it. We'll we'll show you later on in episodes coming up it cutting, and then we're going to uh, pull it all apart and do it all up. So. Uh, yeah, enjoy the content coming up on this little uh, project that Tosh and I have got right now. Like and subscribe, and see you next round. Oh, sorry uh, to interrupt the ending there, but I actually forgot to tell you how much I'd pay for this little baby. Three. Not three thousand, not thirty, three hundred. There you go. Too much for sure.